Yo, what's up, Google? What the fuck is going on? If you don't like how I swear, get off my channel. <laughs> I think it's funny when people comment that because I don't care. Um, I'm not going to switch the way I talk for somebody else, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, anyways, fucking, um, going over to Everglades right now because they're hiring, hiring at the airboat place, so... I'm gonna go talk to the guy. The guy on the phone was real friendly. <laughs> Originally, um, we we're talking about how he needed a dispatcher. I said, "What's what's the money like?" He said, "Like 500 a week." I said, "Hell no, I'm not working for 500 a week." But then we started talking. He needs um, shuttle drivers and all that. Um, and also, they uh, we were talking for a while. Man, this me and this guy over there that manages the place. Um, also, they need airboat drivers so if I get my captain's license I can do that for a little bit these are all this is just kind of figuring out um, this is gonna be like some sort of temporary thing unless I fall in love with it and run run with it you know what I'm saying I'm that type of person that once I fall in love with something I run with it and I stick to it but um, yeah this is just a temporary thing until that has mattered oil um, the hazmat and twit car not the hazmat or oil fuck that but um, the hazmat and a twit car come in. Um, your boy got a new haircut. If you need a new haircut and you're uh, in the 954, I can send you to my barber. My barber is fucking nice, bro. He's nice. But um, feels good to be back, back home and getting a good haircut. But yeah, that's why your boy's dressed up. Got the khakis and the button up down. Anyways, we're waiting for the Twit card and the hazmat to come back. Pray for your boy that these things come in quicker than so, uh, sooner than later. Because I'm already talking to people like I got my hazmat. And fucking, um, yeah, we're going to run with that. We are going to run with that. Because, uh, sorry, I'm switching lanes here. But, um, yeah, so I was talking to one dude in Texas out of Houston. Houston, y'all got to look at Houston if y'all want a job seems like there's a lot of motherfucking jobs there if you're willing to go there. I'm willing to go there. I don't give a fuck. I ain't got no girl. I ain't got no kids. I just got me and my family to support and look after and stack this money. That's all I got. So, anyways, out of Houston, this guy's running loads from Houston, Chicago, Houston, Oklahoma, and like pretty much on your reset, you're back in Houston. So, I'd have to get a little spot in Houston. I said, all right, that's not a problem. I'll live in my truck for a little bit, get my money right. And then go ahead and get a little spot. I said, what are you paying per week, like on average? I was like, you paying like 14? And he's like, hell no, we pay about like, the lowest you're gonna get at that job is like 18, 18 a week. Working five, six days a week, it's like per low. And I'm fine with that, man. It's a little over the road stuff, but I ain't no crazy shit. It sounds like, like Chicago to uh, Houston, bang that out says some of the, them loads you even get three thousand bucks a week for that shit depending on what you're hauling this guy's a real cool dude um so i encourage you to find the cool dudes man the, the ones that are owner operators you might strike luck with these owner operators and find a good dude that's gonna go 50 50 with you like this dude's going with me so you got to find that and unless you want to go for a big company man i i'm, I'm kind of against the big company because they be on some bullshit but um, if you find a big company that pays you well, pays you what you're worth, if you're hazmat, uh, tanker, I wouldn't accept it. From a big company, I wouldn't accept nothing less than two grand a week. Because you figure two grand a week, that's gonna equal out to about 100 grand a year. But then after taxes, take home is gonna be what, like 70 grand? That's why another thing, I like going 1099 because that way I get the cash up front and for example, if I'm living in my truck or I gotta rent a place in Houston, but my main place, my house that I'm gonna buy is in uh, Miami area or South Florida, shout out 954, 954. But anyways, I can write all that off if I'm on 1099. If I'm on W4 or W2, you kind of fuck yourself over and gotta wait for the money to come back at the end of the year. And it's up to them what to give you. I don't like that. So I'd rather do 1099 so I can write everything. I get the cash up front so I can afford these things that I need. That's the whole point of 1099. You can afford the things that you need. And then you save the receipt and say, hey, 
I'm building my own business here to the government. I'm building my own business. I just bought this, that, and this to expand my business. So I needed these things so I could write them off so I don't got to pay back the taxes on these. Um, so it works out. Just save every, every receipt. Get the, um, the QuickBooks app. And yeah, man, like I'm excited to work 1099 again and start my own company. Start my own company, get my own house, get my real estate up, get my credit back up, uh, rent a place in Houston. That's what I'm thinking. And run this shit because we just got to run this shit all, all day, every day. And work as much as possible until your certifications come in. And we'll be all right, man. Your boy's going to be all right. You're going to be all right. We're going to... Once this money starts coming in, we're going to start doing the clothing line as well. Fuck the bitches. Fuck that shit. No more of that. Um, whoever the woman I'm going to marry is going to be in my life regardless whether I talk to her or not. So, fuck that bullshit. I need to be a man and get this money. You know what I mean? I've been a little bitch lately. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I've been a little bitch lately. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get back to it. And y'all are going to see, man. If you ain't following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. I put some of my workouts out there and my, how I eat. Uh, your boy's starting to get his energy up again. Because, like I said, man, I was being a little bitch and I was eating a lot of food, man. I was eating a lot of unhealthy food. Um, I'm pretty much like 70% organic right now. I'd like to be 100%. I feel way better, man. Like, my body is even telling me it's like detoxing itself right now, man. Like, it's like getting all that bad pesticide shit out of me. And saying I don't want no more of that. I've been drinking a lot of ginger tea, man. Going, going 100% organic. Hopefully, by the time I get my next job, 100% organic. It's a little bit more on food, but fuck it, dude. What's an extra hundred dollars a month or two hundred dollars a month when you're making two grand a week? You know what I mean? Towards your health, towards your happiness and health. When I eat organic, I feel happy as fuck. You know what I'm saying? When I eat that all this shit that has the pesticides. Man, you, your body gets inflamed by that shit. My body gets inflamed. Our body gets inflamed. We ain't meant to eat that shit. But anyways, that's the story for a different road, different uh, different day, I mean. But anyways, just want to give y'all a little update. God bless. Stay tuned. Stay lit. Stay up. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And yeah, if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram, Lucas. S-E-A-D-O-G-L-U-C-A-S. Message me there or message me on Snapchat, which is the same thing. At C Dog Lucas, S E A, like the C, Dog, D O G, then Lucas, L U C A S. Alright, y'all. Have a great day. And let's fucking kill it!